Hello guys, and welcome back to another Dragon Quest XI, um, episode. I don't even know what episode this is right now. I've done so many episodes, this might be 38. I think it's 38. Anyways, let's go search around town here, and we are going to grab all the items. Now most of this stuff we already broke, so we don't have to really do too much. I mean, we already uh, broke like most of the barrels and stuff. So most of the stuff that we're gonna find is probably in shops and stuff. And inns and... Remember that one frozen chest in the uh... When the whole town was frozen? We're gonna have to get that chest as well. That should be uh, thawed out now. Hopefully. I mean, hopefully it would, it would be, right? So let's go to the weapon shop here. Here's some items you can buy. I don't really wanna buy uh... Anything right now. I'm trying to just gather up my coins right now. And once I get to near end game, then I'm gonna go like on a shopping spree. I just wanna be able to find like a really good place for grinding gold first. So I'm just. I don't really need to buy anything right now. Most of my money I wanna put into perfectionist pearls. So that's why I wanna save up. Just to use them on perfectionist pearls. Okay, so here's the ar armor shot. We can talk to her. Here's where she has some new stuff. Oh yeah, we also have to make some new gear, some magic robes for uh... Because we got that magic uh, recipe, remember? So we're gonna have to make some of that stuff as well. Magic robes for both of us. For both uh, Veronica and Rab. Alright, so once you've explored the armor and the weapon shop there, it's attached, we're gonna go right here to the item shop. Explore inside here. And she has all of this stuff to sell as well. You can buy some more ho holy water if you need it. I think I need a little bit more. I'm just gonna buy some. I'm gonna put that in my item bag. There we go. Stock up a little bit more on that stuff. Now let's head upstairs of the um, item shop here. Okay, so we have a book. Let's see. You can read this book if you like. It's not a recipe though, unfortunately. Okay, so let's go see what's inside this uh, place here. We have a book to our right. You guys can read this book as well, if you like. Okay, so there's nothing really in this house. We're gonna go right to the inn now instead. Should hopefully find something in here. This town doesn't have much to raid because we've already raided most of it. Ah, talk to her. I think this is a puff puff lady, she looks like. Yeah, okay, let's get our puff puff, guys. <laughs> I said yes. Oh, she wants me to meet her at lunchtime, okay. So I'm gonna sleep at the inn because I need- I still need to get an achievement for- for... I don't know how many times you just sleep there, but it's quite- quite a bit. Ah, let me read that book. There's a recipe book, Platinum Power. So now we can make Platinum Swords, Platinum Power Swords, and Platinum Lances, and Platinum Claws. Nice. That's a lot of Platinum. Okay, I'm gonna sleep at the inn here. And I am gonna stay, oh, actually I'm gonna rest a while And we're gonna sleep until noon so that we can get our puff puff Okay, so let's go leave the city here and let's go look for our puff puff Okay, I found her, she's right on the docks here So you just leave the town And come on here Alright, let's get our puff puff Okay, so Once you get your puff puff That's um, one down, another puff puff down I guess we still have many to go because we never got our achievement yet. So that's a work in progress. Okay, so we're going around here this time. Around the back of the weapon shop, we're gonna open this door up. That leads right inside the weapon shop here, and this guy has a chest. And we're gonna get 3,000 gold coins. Okay, so outside the inn here, we're, we're gonna go behind here, and now there's another chest that we can get. And this is gonna give us a mini meadow. Still need more of those. A lot more of those. Okay, so back here, we're gonna climb up here. Remember this, this was the chest that was frozen that I was talking about. I'll give you guys a reminder of where it is, all the way east. And let's open that baby up. And let's see what we get. Royal Ruby. Okay, so I'm gonna try and explore these two houses beside each other. Okay, let's head upstairs in this house. And a wardrobe. Let's open that. And we'll get our garter from that. Okay, so leaving this house, we're gonna visit next door and now we're gonna see what we can find in here okay we're gonna grab this book upstairs and it's just a book to read if you like okay guys so now it's time that we explore the castle so let's head straight up here and get our blue orb Huh? 
Was that Serena? Did you say something? Hmm? No. I didn't say anything at all. Why? Did you hear something? I thought so, but... Well, never mind. It must have just been my imagination. Come on, let's go. Okay, that was weird. So let's go to the... Yeah, it tells you the, the rainbow has to go every time. We know there's a blue orb here. Okay, let's go to the left here. See what's in this room first. There's a cabinet that we can open. Or a wardrobe, whatever you want to call it. Nobleman's knife? Let's go check that out. Okay, so obviously, Eric. Uh, sword break or a fucking knife? Which one do I want to get rid of? Uh, oh, this is really good, actually. Holy crap. 8% chance of okay. This nobleman knife is really, really good, but the thing is, I don't want to get rid of Falcon Blade unless I'm fighting a boss. Because Eric does not have really good skills right now. Let's see if I can go to character builder for Eric. Yeah, he needs more skills. Okay, so for now, I'll take off Swordbreaker and I'll put the nobleman knife on, and uh, plus, I plan on upgrading it as well. I'll probably get to plus 3. And I'll keep Falcon Knife on for now, just because it does an extra hit. And that extra hit is more damage than if I were to take it off for a normal man knife. There's also a book hidden inside the same room, right on the shelf beside the wardrobe, that you can read if you like. Now moving across, we're gonna go check out, see if, if we can get inside here. Ah, that's the th throne room. Okay, we don't want to go to the throne room, so what, we're gonna go right to... We're gonna go inside here and take the lift. Because we don't want to go to the throne room yet, since we don't want to really uh, progress the story until we've collected everything. I made that same mistake in Helidor Castle, and I don't plan on making it here. <laughs> Even though we can probably come here anytime. Okay, that was a Lunaria. Well, Helidor Castle, we can still go there, we just have to progress the story further, so we're not... We're not completely out of it yet. Uh, I don't have a key for this one yet, right? I don't think I have the right key. Yeah, I need a special key for that. For those doors. Okay, we have pots here. Seed of sorcery. In one of them. And a chest guarded by the uh, ghostly spirit. Savvy Sapphire. Don't mind if I take it, buddy. Hey! <laughs> what is up with those things? We also have two pots here, right beside that spirit. Mini Metal! Woo! Silver Medalist, awarded for finding at least 50 Mini Metals. And a Panacea! Okay, so let's take a lift, right back, and... Right back out the door, and make a right turn, up right to the throne room, so let's go get our blue orb now. You... fool! Huh? Huh? Hm. Oh yeah? Well if I'm a fool then what are you? What's the matter with you, Veronica? I didn't say anything. Yes, you did. Didn't you? Hmm, something funny's going on around here. Let's get in and see the Queen before anything else strange happens. Okay, so let's enter the throne room, see what the hell's going on. Here, and probably a cutscene. Once we talk to her, yeah. Ah, excellent. You came. Let me present to you the blue orb of Sniffleheim. If you will just come a little closer. from the book please you have to listen to me I am the real Frisabel the woman in front of you is the witch what ridiculous 
She's the witch, not me. Don't believe her lies. Hmm. Trick us once, shame on you. Trick us twice, shame on us. You might not like being trapped in there again, but you'll just have to get used to it. No, you're wrong! The spell didn't work because Snorri paused in the middle of it. You have to believe me! She's lying! The Wicked Witch is trying to trick you again. You have to believe me! Everybody, calm down! I have been Her Majesty's tutor for ten years. If anyone can tell the real queen from the imposter, it is me. I will ask one question to both of you. Whoever answers it correctly is the real Queen Frisabel. Here is the question. What is the true treasure of Sniffelheim? The real Frisabel would remember her father's teachings well. <laughs> That's easy. The true treasure of Sniffelheim is clearly the blue ore. What else could it be but something so valuable? Hmm, the orb, you say? Very well, very well. Now then, what is your answer? The true treasure of Sniffelheim is its people. Though the bleakest blizzards assail them, ever do they warm these frigid climes with their ardent hearts. Precisely! The very words the royal family have passed down through the generations. The real Queen Frisabel is the one in the book! No! She's a liar, you fools! You... Imbeciles! Can't you see? Curse you! Oh yes, very queenly. <laughs> Fine, you caught me out again. I surrender, I surrender. <laughs> oh. 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 I wait all that time to get my powers back, and you make me waste every last drop on escaping that wretched book again. My magic is spent. My life is yours. Boil me in a cauldron, burn me at the stake. Just get it over with. Men, take her to the dungeon. <clears throat> Wait! Your Majesty, what are you doing? Queen Frisabel, please, step away from her. She says she has lost her powers, but how can we know for sure? She is a witch. It is in her nature to lie. Oh. Everyone, listen to me. It is true that Kristalinda did something unforgivable when she froze this city. But... We spoke from time to time when she held me captive. She listened to me. She even helped me to understand what it is to be queen. Hers is not a bad heart. And the time I spent in the book, it gave me the chance to think. To ready myself to truly rule at last. Please! I believe her when she says her powers are spent. She's not a threat to us any longer. 
We must let her live. Hmm. She seems convinced, Snorri. Why not give Crystalinda one last chance? Very well. You are the ruler of this kingdom, Your Majesty. If that is your decision, we will gladly follow it. <laughs> Must you be so nicey, nicey, Frisabel? You're making me look bad. Crystalinda, there's something I still don't understand. Why did you free Sniffleheim in the first place? Oh, that was a favor for a friend. The splendid specimen who released me from the grimoire. As you know, I was trapped in that dusty, fusty library for a horribly long time. Oh, it was so, so boring. Then, three months ago, he appeared. He took down my book from the shelf and spoke to me. I will release you from your prison, but you must do something for me in return. For a beautiful boy like you? Anything. Free me and I am yours forevermore. What is your desire, my pretty? You must freeze Sniffleheim. When you do, a great hero will be sent to save the city. One who wears the same pendant as I. His name is Hendrik. And when he arrives, I would like you to kill him. So I did as he asked. And when the great hero arrived, I decided to have him run a little errand for me before I disposed of him. To slay a mighty beast that just happened to have stolen my powers. And, well, the rest you know. The same pendant as Sir Henry, eh? And what was this handsome young fellow's name, might I ask? His name? Oh, I haven't a clue. He disappeared after he freed me, and I haven't seen him since. It's a shame. He was such a pretty little thing. Thank you once again for all you have done for me and my kingdom. The orb is yours to do with as you see fit. But your majesty, isn't the orb one of your kingdom's most precious treasures? Are you sure you don't mind us taking it? Of course. As my father always said, the true treasure of this kingdom is its people. And if not for you, they may well have been frozen forever. Well, if you insist, best of luck with all your royal duties. And try not to let the pressure get to you, okay? <laughs> Oh, don't worry about that, little girl. Frisabel will be just fine. I plan to take very good care of her. The rainbow starts to glow brighter than ever before. Zaled's orb collection is complete. Head west through the Snarefelt and climb through the first forest to open the path to Yggdrasil. Okay, so let's leave this place now. Okay, open the door here. And we're gonna leave the castle. Okay, and here we go up to a cutscene. As we leave the area. What are you doing loitering by the docks, Eric? None of your business. So, did you get the orb or what? We did. And all because I can spot a phony a mile off. You can thank me later. Mm. Huh? What's wrong, Rab? Oh, it's nothing, lassie. 
I just can't stop wondering who the handsome young fellow that put Crystalinda up to all this might be. He'd have to be very important indeed to have the same pendant as the mighty Sir Hendrick. You don't think it could have been Mordigan himself, do you? I wish I knew, Serena. Really, I do. Well, standing around here guessing won't do us any good. We've a tree of life to be getting to. Come on, you horrible lot. This adventure isn't over yet. Onward to Yggdrasil! Griffins! <laughs> how, how, how did that get there? Ooh! Is this what you were so engrossed in back at the library, Rab? I thought you said it was a spell book. Another one to add to the collection, eh? And there I was thinking you'd finally got over your little obsession. <gasps> Sir Rab! You have been caught red-handed! And red-faced! And after you'd just done your rousing speech, too. Talk about mortifying. Ah. Oh. <sighs> but, 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 but wait! You, you don't understand. I only read them for the articles. <sighs> The articles, I tell ye! Breaker. Awarded for breaking the cursed castle in Stiffline by Crystalinda, which caused the kingdom to be frozen solid. Okay, so if you open up the map, you'll see we have uh, some new quests available here. To the east is this one, and to the west is this one. So let's go ahead and do those uh, side quests before we finish the walkthrough. This one we're gonna do here is west. We're gonna go to the item shop. Okay, so we're gonna head upstairs and talk to this guy. So just uh, zoom past the text here. And we're gonna start the Viking Horde. The merchant wants you to look at the Vikings who were meant to deliver a shipment. And our reward is gonna be a pirate hat. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is zoom right to the Viking hideout. Now we have to look for the NPC to talk to. Okay, so talk to this guy in the Viking hideout and then we're gonna teleport to Lana Lulu C. He's gonna tell you his little brother has gone missing and is found on some island and that island is the Insula Borealis. So we teleport to Lana Lulu C. We're gonna use um, holy waters. So item bag, holy water. Now from Lana Lulu C what we're gonna do is we're gonna head all the way southwest like di diagon diagonally like I'm doing and we're just gonna go right off we're just gonna go right off the map so just keep sailing until we get right off the map if you press um, I'm just gonna go a little bit further until it'll start to get like really foggy but there we go you see how it's starting to like get kind of foggy press square button and you'll see how we're almost straight off the map we're just gonna keep going straight down until it clears up again and then we'll be on the north side of the of the lawn on the Lucy. This is the fastest way to get there. Okay, and we're just about there. I press square, look, look on the map, and here we are. Uh, we're gonna have to use another holy water though. I think it's gonna take about two holy waters to get there. And the island is right in front of us, so that's Insula Borealis. I'll press the map button so you can see it's the north northest island so let's head here once uh, the game loads up we're gonna go make a left turn across this little bridge and we're gonna make another left turn up here we're gonna cross the lake to get to that little island here because the his little brother is fishing right behind that rock you can't spot him until until you go around and there he is right here so let's talk to him 
And then here's what he says. Sail. World Walker, I'm a, I am a Viking and I hail from Snowy Snuffleheim. I have come here to find a present for Her Majesty the Queen. What, my brother sent you to tell me to come home right away? Ha ha ha. He has such a war... war Worry, guys. Yes, my ship may have sunk, but apart from that, I am perfectly fine. Indeed, I am better than fine. The seas around this island are absolutely teeming with Queen Frizabelle's favorite food, scuffy urchins. They may look like little, they may look a little tidy, but they taste incredible. I have just found the biggest, juiciest specimen I've ever seen. It will make a perfect present for Her Majesty. I just have to sail back to Sniffleheim, and ah, uh, now I see the problem. Would you take this back to Sniffleheim for me? I will stay here and finish. For more scruffy urchins to grace the dining table of the queen. May the wind be at your back, friend. And now we receive the scruffy urchin. This is uh, Queen Fizzbell's missing tribute. Return to the armory in Sniffleheim and hand it to the minister for Viking affairs. So now that we have it, zoom right back to Sniffleheim city and head all the way back and talk to the quest guy again to get your reward. And we received Pirate Hat and completed the quest of Viking Horde. Now we are going to do the final quest for the Walter. Okay, so let me... Okay, so here we are. We're gonna start the east um, quest now. We're gonna go up the stairs and talk to this guy. And this is gonna be a really fast quest to do. A lot faster than the first one. Even though the first one wasn't really that hard. Our reward is gonna be that's magic. Looks like it's a recipe book. Okay, so a cold crush quest we started. Alright, so we're gonna teleport to the Snarefelt campsite. So from the campsite, grab a horse and we're gonna head all the way down here. Up here. Past all these enemies. Let's go around and you'll see the yellow spot right here. Let's grab that baby. And now teleport back and you're done the quest. All we have to do now is, is get our reward. Okay, I'm just gonna talk to the buddy here, claim our reward. Blah 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 blah. Let's get a recipe book and see what we can create now. So we receive recipe book entitled That's Magic and we can create magic shields, suits of magic armor, and magic vestments. Some more gear for us to create. Oh joy. Oh, we get 24 gold coins up in here as well. Alright guys, that's gonna end this episode of Dragon Quest XI Ultimate Walkthrough, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.